So on seven, signs containing white supremacist messages show up at Boston College ahead of a student protest against racism. They were found on campus near the spot where the anti-racism march kicked off today. The signs were moved and now police are investigating. Boston College responding to this disturbing discovery saying the school denounces all forms of hatred. Seven's Kimberly Bookman live now in Chestnut Hill with the latest. Kimberly. Adam, today's march was the third anti-racism event on campus this week. Many students told us they felt they were making progress, but today felt like a setback. Just as a thousand students and staff gathered to march against racism at Boston College, these signs popped up on an outdoor kiosk and shifted the attention. They had a picture of Uncle Sam on them with the words, don't apologize for being white, underneath. I am upset. I'm disappointed. Um, and I think that's pretty much what you'll hear from any student of color here. Um, I think that we want better. We expect better. A BC spokesperson says police are investigating, but they believe the posters were put up by a white supremacist group that is not affiliated with the campus. A writer for the school's newspaper says in the last 24 hours, there were other incidents of racism at BC. So last night in one of the freshman dorms, I guess two more more signs were defaced. This is a long running sort of uh, thread of stories on campus and this week it's really just a big concentration of those stories. This past weekend two Black Lives Matter signs were vandalized in a residence hall here. As much as we say that Black Lives Matter, that I, as a student of color, as a woman of color, have every right to be here and exist on this campus as much as the next person, there are still people that refuse to accept that. At today's march, some students took a knee. But most say the huge crowd showing up and standing up prove more people than not want these racial tensions to end. It's not so much about releasing the emotions so much as channeling those emotions. So what are our next steps? What are we going to do to make BC a better place? And many of those students say they were upset that the college's president didn't attend today's march. We reached out to a spokesperson who says the president had a previously scheduled meeting in California and was not able to make it. Yep, fire. Subscribe to Very Fake News.